Hello, Florida Fanatics here, and we are back to discuss the history of the infamous Iroquan bird. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to our channel to share in our love of theme parks, music, and more. Today we will be discussing a minor character that first appeared in the film The Three Caballeros, the Araquan Bird. If you are familiar with him, then you already know about his greatness, his quirky personality, and his amazing song. For those that are being introduced to him for the very first time, well you are in for a very special treat. The Three Caballeros was released in December of 1944 and was produced by Walt Disney and released by RKO Radio Pictures. RKO Films produced films such as King Kong and Citizen Kane, which has been described as one of the greatest films of all time. My first official act as governor of the state will be to appoint a special district attorney to arrange for the indictment, prosecution, and conviction of Boss Jim W. Geddes! <laughs> They also released other Disney animations such as Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The Three Caballeros is a musical that mixes both live action and animation and stars Donald Duck at its center. We are also introduced to Jose Carioca, the cigar smoking parrot from Brazil, and Panchito Pistoles, a rooster from Mexico. The film is split up into different segments and we'll be first taking a look at the segment called Aves Raras, which is translated to Rare Birds. This is where we are introduced to the eccentric Iroquan bird and his unforgettable song. Now, he's called the Araquan because of the peculiar song he sings, which sounds something like this. He makes his next small appearance with Jose, snatching his cigar and singing his song. He runs off the screen and pulls the frame back into view where Jose describes the bird as being crazy and a very stupid fellow. Oh, forgive the interruption, Donald. This crazy bird is the Araquan. He's meio maluco, a very stupid fellow. The last scene that graces us with the Araquan is in Bahia with Donald and Jose. We are first treated to a song sung by Jose about Bahia, which is one of the states that make up Brazil and is located in the northeastern part of the country. At the conclusion of Jose's song, both him and Donald then board a train to Bahia, and on their trip, the Araquan is seen resting on the track smoking a cigar. As the train approaches, the Araquan draws multiple tracks, causing each part of the train to split off in different directions. All while the Araquan goes back to laying on the original track, enjoying his cigar. The train later reassembles, and Donald and Jose arrive in Bahia. It wasn't until 1947 that we would see the Araquan again, who made his next appearance in the Donald Duck short, Clown of the Jungle. The Araquan is almost immediately introduced singing his famous song. The narrator goes on to describe the Araquan as the slap-happy clown of the jungle. In this short, Donald is out in the jungle attempting to photograph birds. The Araquan starts in with his mischievous antics. He annoys Donald and prevents him from accomplishing his photo shoot. The viewers are given the wonderful gift of the Araquan bird song four times in this short. By the end of the short, the Araquan has driven Donald mad and it ends with Donald now running around singing the Araquan bird song. <laughs> In 1958, Walt Disney Productions aired a Christmas special called From All of Us to All of You. It is hosted by Jiminy Cricket, Mickey Mouse, and Tinkerbell, and the special combined newly produced animation with vintage animated cartoon classics. Clown of the Jungle is one of the classic shorts that is included in this special. The special is broadcast every year in Nordic countries such as Sweden, Finland, Denmark, and Iceland, and it's considered a holiday classic as it has aired every year since 1959. In the special, Clown of the Jungle has been edited, specifically cutting out the scene where Donald is firing a machine gun at the Araquan. The Araquan makes his next appearance in Melody Time in the segment Blame It on the Samba. 
In this short, Donald and Jose are down in the blues, literally, and in order to be cured, they need to get into the rhythm of the samba with help from the Araquan. The Araquan's voice is described as wacky, high-pitched, and sped up. The actor who lent his voice for the role is Pinto Kolvig. Kolvig was also the voice of many recognizable characters in various cartoon shorts, such as Gabby, He also voiced Oswald the Rabbit, that you ever knew, lucky habit. and more famously, he voiced Goofy. <laughs> Needs more salt. In recent years, the Araquan bird has made a small comeback and appeared in Mickey Mouse Works, which aired from 1999 to 2001. It was an animated television series that featured Mickey and Gang in a series of shorts. The series also revived silly symphonies that were produced from 1929 to 1939. Mickey Mouse Works was later renamed to Disney's House of Mouse in 2001, and it aired until 2003. The Araquan makes several cameo appearances throughout the season and can be found in the very first episode titled Stolen Cartoons. If you're not fast, you will miss him as the camera quickly pans over Donald shaking hands with the bird. The bird would only be featured in one episode titled Donald and the Araquan Bird. It also included the short Bird Brain Donald, where Donald was trying to take the Araquan's picture. We would then return to the main feature where Mickey Mouse invites the Araquan to perform at the club, to much of Donald's dismay. During this sequence, the Araquan would frustrate a relentless Donald who was trying to get rid of him. In both the House of Mouse and Mouse Works series, Frank Welker lent his voice for the sounds of the bird. Welker is known for voicing many prominent characters over the years, which include Abu and Raja from Aladdin. He voiced the noises for Mohawk in Gremlins 2. He voiced the Martians from Mars Attacks. And he also voiced Nibbler from Futurama, just to name a few. And those are just a very small sampling of the roles that he has lent his voice to. In 2018, the Disney streaming app available in only the UK and the Philippines released a series called The Legend of the Three Caballeros, and it was only released to the Philippines only. In this series, the Araquan is a recurring character in a supporting role. It is this series that the iconic Araquan bird song is brought back in the pilot episode titled Dopa Cabana. This would mark the first time in over 70 years that the song was performed by the character. So now that we have looked at the history of the Araquan and have hoped you fell in love with both his character and his crazy song, it is time to ask, does the Araquan make any park appearances? And the answer is yes. He can be found in Disneyland during the Soundsational Parade during the Donald's Fiesta Fantastico segment. On the float that Donald is on, you'll find a similar little bird perched on top. He can also be found at Epcot at the Walt Disney World Resort on the Grand Fiesta Tour starring the Three Caballeros. On one of the screens where Donald is swaying with multiple sombreros, you'll have to look quickly and closely. When Donald swings around and the top of the hats are facing the riders, you'll see a certain bird hanging on. Because the appearance is so quick, most guests miss the cameo appearance on this ride. The bird's popularity is starting to resurge as a DJ recently remixed a song using the bird's quirky noises. The song was later played by one of the biggest DJs in the world, Tiesto, at a recent festival in front of thousands of attendees. The song also includes the narration from the Three Caballero films. We hope the popularity continues to surge and we are treated with more appearances of the Araquan as he is a beloved, obscure character that we just can't get enough of. Thank you for watching and leave us a comment below. Check out the link in our description for your chance to purchase some shirts featuring the Airquan on our Spreadshirt site. Also remember to subscribe to our channel to show your support.